Hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Dallas, aka Infernus. We are here at Story Mode episode number two. Episode number two. So, um, this is episode seven of the Story Mode series, and we're going to continue with this. I realize we're quite far behind, so that's not good. Let's get let's get that fixed. All right, let's let's play. Some unlikely beginnings and broken friendships can lead to dark rivalry. When the world is in danger, fate calls on the ordinary to do extraordinary things. And go on journeys they had only dreamed of. Our heroes, thrown together by fate, must now seek help from a legendary inventor. But the question remains, will it be enough to save the world? <laughs> you don't give me any time? Oh, great. I'll just have to use your quark power against you. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Eh. No. No. That's a Got him. Got him. That's one low on health gas. Okay, we're all set to go again. Hitting the power tracks now. Time to move, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> I never doubted you for a second, but but that was incredible. Maybe we have a chance of getting to Eligard after all. Look, there's the sign, Redstonia. Redstonia, here we Wait, come. Who, who are we seeing again? Is it the Redstone guy? The Sethling guy? Yeah, that's where we are. Seeing. About to meet the greatest Redstone builders fact. in the world. Wow. Who would have thought that someday I'd really get to visit Redstonia, Eligard's capital city of engineering? Incredible. Do you think Eligard will be willing, you know, to help us? What's the name, Eligard? Redstonia. <laughs> that name is so damn original. Oh, Richard, no! So this is Redstonia. Oh, I see some intro dramatic crap going on. Oh, I see some sort of intro. Fantastic intro. Nice, nice and climactic. Great view. Excellent. I love those names. That's some pretty slick water. Oh, amazing redstone. Builders of Redstonia, I want you to know how much I value and adore each and every one of you. Your hard work inspires me every day. Is that, Jessie, is that the guy? There she is. I am about to enter my dome of concentration, where I will be unreachable for the foreseeable future. I will emerge when I complete my latest and greatest creation, the command block. I'm pretty sure so it's been around for a long continue time. Continue working, continue building, and whichever person most impresses me, they shall be my protege. <laughs> Ready to help usher in a new era of innovation and creativity. Calvin, throw the switch. No, Calvin. What is this? Ooh, interesting. You got Jessie, your stuff moving. We need to get there before she totally locks herself in. Oh, 
Oh, great. Ah, oh, crap. <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Calvin, was it? We need to speak to Eligard. It's urgent. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. Did you hear the speech? She's on lockdown until she completes her next great invention. But lucky for you, I'm here. How can I help you? I mean, I'm no Eligard. But I'm still pretty cool. Sure, if you can save the world. No, I'm afraid not. Look, I can tell you're not from around here. Level with me. Who are you? Why do you need to see Eligard? We don't do tours this time of year, I must tell you. And Eligard isn't one for appointments. I have a message from Gabriel, okay? Eligard's old friend? Hmm. You must admit that this all sounds a little outlandish. Jesse, show him the amulet. Look, this is Gabriel's amulet. It's how I got here. It's how I found Eligard in the first place. Damn. Oh my. Well, That's that a is pretty slick shit you got there. If you'd like, I could send that to Eligard. I'm letting you in. Let's go. Mission. Might not be right, a bad Calvin. idea. Okay, sure. That would be great. If I'm not mistaken, that should go right to Eligard's private office. I might be wrong. Could be wrong. This place is pretty complicated. Speaking of which... I'm afraid I have many more things to attend to than answering all of your questions. I must go. Better just take this repeater and disable the stair controls. We don't want any troublemakers disturbing Eligard. Okay. Hello there, I, uh... Welcome to Mabel's Mighty Cow Vault! Make your cows soar through the air with a wide-eyed stare. <laughs> be amazed, be astounded, let your wonders be compounded! Oh, sorry friend, tapped out. And what do you have here? You are about to witness the world's first cowapult machine. I came up with the idea when I lived in a place called Boomtown, but now I am here and the cows are a flying. Can't help but notice you checking out my cowapult friend. It's got an easy to use lever right there. So feel free to fling a cow, or maybe you'd is. like to try it on your piggy there first? <gasps> I want to go on that, because I need to oh, get up Oh, the... believe me, he'll love it. I've never known a cow not to like it. Especially the ones that survive. It's safe, right? I mean, I wouldn't want... Oh, I've never known anything so safe in my life. Yeah. Okay, Reuben, it's time for a game well, I didn't of... say yes! Super Pig! <laughs> Well, shit. <laughs> Hi there. What? what? Look, you're going <laughs> to have to speak up there. Oh, I just said hi. Much better. What can I do for you? You want to see my TNT cannon? You say something? Speak up now. Can you get us in the dome? What? Can't hear you. But if it's about getting into Eligard's dome, no can do. Sorry. Of course not. Do you have a repeater I could use? Sorry. None of those to spare. How does your machine work? Still a work in progress. But eventually, it'll launch people high into the air so they can see for miles around. Cool. Theoretically. I like you, sport. Here, have some redstone dust. Dust from a strange man. Cool.
Hey. Have you seen all these inventions? These inventors are all incredible. So, crafting a repeater, how do you do that? We need three stone, two redstone torches, and one pile of redstone dust to make one. Okay, I'm gonna keep trying to open the dome. I'll see what I can do to help. Lever. Uh-oh. What's it gonna do? It's not safe! Duck! Watch your language, Missy! Stone. Jackpot. That's some nice stone. Still warm. What? A... Mm. Repeater. What? <gasps> what? Wait, would I be stealing? Hey, a redstone repeater. That's just what I need. Uh, yeah, 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 what do you think you're doing over there, pal? That's one of the key components of my, uh, bovine lava disco. Hi. Hey, how's it going? How you doing? Uh, here to see the next great revolution in entertainment? It is pretty amazing. Definitely the sort of creation that Elagard's future protege might make, no? Actually, I was wondering, can you spare a repeater? Oh, sorry, friend. Uh, actually, just used my last one on this puppy. Of course uh, you One of the key did. components that helps the cows dance. <laughs> I'm actually gonna keep on keeping on. Enjoy the dancing cow. Just stay away from that little, uh, schoolboy, all right? He's never had an original idea in his life. Why? I'll do it anyways. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up? Here to see the best machine that's ever graced Redstonia's shores. Some people say I lack modesty. Some people just aren't as great as I am. And some people... I did. You got a spare repeater? I mean, yes, I do, but will I share it with you? Mm, no, afraid not. I might need it, so sorry. But, but why am I telling you all this? I'm trying to become Elagard's protege over here, and you're probably all in cahoots with that disco weirdo over there. I'm pretty sure he just enjoys torturing cows. In real chatty with that disco friend of yours. What's he been telling you about me, huh? He's just jealous. Doesn't think I deserve to be Elagard's protege. Which I will be, obviously. Hey, ha, this rivalry's none of my business. Fine. Just don't listen to anything he says. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. So high. Going so very high. Sorry. <sighs> That's okay. Now that the fear has completely paralyzed me, I'm almost enjoying myself. Tell your friends about my <laughs> invention. <sighs> I never thought she'd actually be able to do it. That's that's great. Do you oh, have a repeater? you didn't. She's heading to a better place. The sky, to explore it. Anyway, you must be here to see my incredible auto farmer. <laughs> okay. Why waste time planting it. sugar? Give me a damn repeater. itself. Yes. Uh. You got a repeater? Sorry, already used all mine. I got uh. some redstone torches, though. I need to see Eligard. I've really got to see Eligard. Oh, I see. Trying to prove how much you want the spot as her protege so I'll be intimidated? <laughs> well, it's not working. 
Oh, great. I'll just be going then. No fat If you need a better way to plant sugarcane, you know where to look. Hey, thanks for taking care of that cow launching nut job over there. The constant splashing and mooing was driving me nuts. Here, take these as a token of my gratitude. That's some primo it's, crafting yes. material yes. right there. Awesome. Yes, thank thanks. You so much. All right, I. Ooh! All right, grab your table. Use. Okay, I can do this. I need a repeater. Redstone repeater, redstone repeater, redstone repeater. All right. Now. So I put this here, that there. And, uh. Done. Pretty nice. Great. Alright, now let's, let's hurry up and get back so we can finish this. Alright, I got the repeater. Okay, that's a step in the right direction. Switch is on. That doesn't seem super useful. I'm working on it, Olivia. These aren't exactly labeled, you know. Door open. Switch is on. Okay, good, good. All right, we did it. We did it. Wow, here it is. Eligard's Redstone Laboratory. Seems more like an entrance or a foyer or something. We'll see what happens together in the next video. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Dallas Akia Infernus, and goodbye.